Hi, this is Lisa Elston with JDS Industries, and today we're going to learn how to create a tile mural in Photoshop. So the first step you're going to do is open the image that you want to create your mural out of. Let's find our file. Now the important thing when you're working with images for murals, you want your image to be the size of your completed mural at a minimum of 300 dpi. So let's check that. Go to image and image size. And yes, we want an 18 by 12 mural and it's at 300 dpi. If you get an uh, image that is only about 72 dpi, you could have problems with the final result being a little blurry and uh, have be all pixelated, which you don't want to happen. So you really want high resolution photos uh, for these murals. Okay, so we've done that. Now our first step we need to do is to create a, a grid in order to uh, see where our tiles will be laid out of. So what we want to do is uh, go to view and snap to and you want to make sure the guides is set on. It's turned on and then go to new guide. Now this is where we want our guides to be placed. Um, in the vertical setting we want our first position to be at the width of our tile. In this case, we're going to be using uh, six by six tiles. So we want the vertical position for the first guide to be at six. Okay, and it just snaps right in there. And we need one more uh, vertical guide. Let's go to view, new guide. Now the second position will be uh, twice the size because we're going to put two tiles. So it'd be The position would be 12. So you kind of get how that would work if you had more than one, more than three tiles in your in your mural that you wanted. Just double or triple the width of your tile. Okay, we need one horizontal tile, a grid line, so we want that one to select horizontal, and that one will also be at six, and that places it right in the middle. Okay, our next step is where you want to select our individual tiles. You're going to select your rectangle, uh, rectangular marquee tool, and then under style you're going to select fixed ratio and your width and your height will be the width and height of your actual tile so a six by six in this case okay so just uh, click and drag and select that first square and then you're going to go to edit and copy and then file and new so we're going to create a new document for this one particular tile so each tile will have its own file Okay, and then you're going to open that up and it'll already be the right size that you need. And then edit and paste and there's our first tile. Now our uh, next step is we need to resize this up slightly to allow for a bleed. So to go to image size and then we want, just want a quarter inch of a bleed on it. So 6.25 and that'll just increase it slightly. It won't affect the resolution with that small of an increment. Okay, and then the last step is we need to save this. File, save, and we're just going to call this tile 1. Okay, and then you can close it. And then go on and select your next tile and do the same thing. Copy and create new. And then edit and paste and resize. And then save it. And then tile two. And just continue until you have all your tiles uh, selected and saved. Okay, I'm almost done with my last tile here. I'm just resizing it and save it. Okay, now we can close that. And if you want to save this with the grid, you sure can. Otherwise, just select no and close that out. And then we're going to go and we're going to see how we have all our original image and then all our six tiles. So let's go ahead and open our first tile and get that ready to print for sublimation. Okay, so go ahead and uh, go to File Print. Oops, File Print. And in this case, we're going to be printing this to the Ricoh 3300. So I'm printing that to the power driver. 
And then we're going to make sure our settings are correct. We want the substrate to be ceramic. We're using the text print R paper. We want our intent to be realistic and the color sure is not on. And then we also want this mirrored, so leave that check mark on. Okay, so go ahead and print that. And then you're gonna sublimate that in the heat press uh, for 400 degrees for, uh, depending on the size of the tile, you'll go th uh, three minutes, 45 seconds, up to six minutes. Um, for the six by six tile, you'll probably do around four and a half uh, minutes. And you're gonna use light pressure, and you're also gonna use uh, one of the soft felt pads or the Nomax pad underneath uh, the tile and transfer. That'll just help get the image around and it'll keep the tile uh, from breaking under the pressure. So you'll do each tile. You can either do, uh, do as many tiles as you want in the press. When you're done, you can place them in one of our tile uh, frames, which is a really nice uh, result for a completed tile mural. Um, or some people use, the, use these murals to actually mount on their wall and grout them just like you would regular tile in your bathroom or kitchen. Um, so that's our, our tutorial for today. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions at any time, give us a call at 800-843-8853 or you can send us an email at sublimation at jdsindustries.com.